For the first time ever, with Shopify functions, you can extend native Shopify features to meet unique business needs and allow merchants to configure them without ever touching code. In this video, we'll be focusing on Shopify functions, a powerful new way to make parts of Shopify's logic extensible that were not extensible before. At Shopify, our goal is to build what most merchants need most of the time, but that's never gonna solve every use case. So we've thought a lot about how to open up more of the logic behind our platform in order to make it more flexible. So how does this all work? Here's your typical dev stack. State is managed in a database, application logic is implemented in the back end, and the presentation layer is implemented in the front end. Historically, Shopify has made the database layer available through APIs and more recently has supported extending Shopify's data schema with meta fields and meta objects and made the front end extensible with liquid and hydrogen. The Shopify back end code has really been off limits. Open source solves this by giving you control over all three layers of the stack. But then you own hosting and security, and as soon as you touch the code, you're on a fork. With Shopify functions, we now allow third-party devs to extend or replace key parts of Shopify's backend logic with custom code. This represents a radical step forward for building commerce experiences. Your code runs inline, synchronously, in any language you choose that can compile to WebAssembly. This means you can have your cake and eat it too. Your code is running on our infrastructure, deployed globally on the upgrade path with everything else on Shopify, with a sub five millisecond performance that's up to any critical task. Storefronts going viral, flash sales, whatever you can throw at it. Shopify Functions is starting with backend logic that's familiar to all of you. Discounts and shipping and payment methods, where it will replace our legacy Ruby scripts with something that's a hundred times faster. As Shopify Functions grows over time, we'll be including support for shipping rates, checkout and cart validations, return validations, and programmable order routing, just to name a few. Shopify Functions will also be available to every Shopify merchant, not just Plus, and are deployed through an app and accessible from the App Store. So you can build functions for your own store, or you can share your functions with the millions of merchants who are already on Shopify. Okay, so you're probably asking, how would this look in practice? First, you write your script. In this example, we're creating a script using Rust and building the page using React and AppBridge, which means you don't have to deal with this thing anymore. When you're ready, compile the code to a WebAssembly module. Merchants can then access and configure their new customizations directly in the admin without ever having to touch a line of code. For example, a merchant can now download an app that provides tiered discounts, spend $100, get $20 off, and configure the discount alongside Shopify's other native discount offerings. As you can see, Shopify functions will give you the power and flexibility to build things that we haven't even anticipated. And this is just the beginning. In the future, more of Shopify's built-in logic will be extensible through functions. This creates a huge opportunity for developers to solve incredibly hard problems at scale. Functions will make the challenging things easy and everything else possible. We can't wait to see what you create.